Welcome to this new episode of the Geodesic Dome Self Build Project. Um, quite a stressful uh, moment here. I um, had prepared all the hexagons, all the pentagons. Uh, I have laid them out temporarily in my workshop. I had the impression that the curvature was not tight enough for my uh, foundation, uh, but let's find out. So we started with the first row um, around the base um, and uh, I had made some uh, half hexagons differently than the other ones to have a completely flat base. Uh, this is quite simple, quite straightforward, but already I had the impression that um, my measurements did not uh, perfectly work out with the foundation that I had made and that uh, will only be confirmed at the end of the uh, assembly. Uh, next is uh, one row up, um, putting up the pentagons. Um, also quite straightforward, I, uh, I added some uh, double-sided foam tape in between. What you see here is temporary uh, fixtures because uh, it was quite a windy day, so the, the diagonal black lines are uh, uh, temporary uh, struts that, uh, that keep all together. Um, and then the uh, second line of hexagons uh, already a bit higher, so uh, you, need, you need some uh, uh, ladders and other uh, stuff to get uh, higher, but everything went smoothly. It, it just became more and more difficult to add the double-sided uh, tape because um, things got, got more and more tensioned. You will see here at the finishing uh, hexagon that there's quite some movement and all this needs to be um, done. And, and if you have quite sticky uh, double-sided foam, that's a difficult thing. All in all, things went quite well. Um, we were uh, four people for uh, the final assembly, so my wife and my two sons uh, gave me a hand. And we started the assembly at around 10 o'clock in the morning and at around 4.30 in the afternoon. Uh, we were at this stage, um, so no door yet but um, everything else was uh, in place and fixed, um, although temporarily. People are uh, quite enthusiastic, it's got some uh, ethereal um, looks and uh, in the meantime I've put in a door uh, and I've put in uh, four windows um, to be able to uh, to ventilate on very hot days, um, so this is the this is the result we have uh, right now. First planting has started tomatoes and paprikas, and I will keep you updated on uh, next uh, projects on my experience with the dome, and of course on the uh, lifespan of the dome. Thank you for following me in this adventure. This will be uh, for now the last video on this uh, geodesic dome. If you have any questions, just uh, put them below this video and I'll see uh, to answer them to my best abilities. Um, of course, uh, you can follow me also for my uh, recumbent bike um, experiences and uh, eventually other things. Bye-bye!